Okay, I I think this is one of the modern math question, and it is something to do with the simultaneous equation. I guess you will need to basically form two equation, and then you will need to solve it and to find the length of the pool. All right, so yeah, let's let's go through this question because the student tell me this is a hot question for his modern math. I'm not sure, but for me, I think this question is quite easy if you can understand the question. So, okay, let's start about this question. The question actually says, Mr. Jugifri is an architecture. He's required to prepare a plan for construction of a swimming pool, which is rectangular in a shape. Given that the length of the pool is 6 meter more than its width, and a length, length with 1 meter width is built around the pool, if the area of the pool, including the adjacent land, is 72 meter, find the length of the pool to be built. So basically the question asks you to find the length of the pool. So based on the question, I actually get some idea. So the first thing is, okay, I will need to build my pool. Okay, so assume uh, this one is my pool. Okay, this is the pool. And the question actually gives you some information. Uh, the, the question says, given that the length of the pool is 6 meters more than its width. So, if I call here, is the width. That's me, this one I call it length. This one is the length. And, and the question actually gives you some idea. He says the length actually is 6 meters is 6 meter more than its width. So, I do not know what is the width. So, width, let's call it W as a width. Alright, so I know my length will be 6 meters more than the width. Okay, this is what the question trying to say. And, and the question trying to make it slightly harder is, it says that and a land with 1 meter width is built around the pool. That means, that means around the pool here, Okay, that's mean ar around the pool. Okay, let's let me just draw slightly bigger. Yeah, it's not in scale. That's mean here you have extra one meter for uh, that's mean the question uh that's mean there's a land with one meter width around the pool. You just imagine this is a swimming pool and around here is the place for people to walk around. Alright, so that means the for people to walk around this is one meter width here and one meter width here. Alright, so you have to slightly understand the question. Alright, then he said if the area of the pool including the adjacent land, that's mean including this uh one meter width land called adjacent land. Alright, so it's 72 meter. So I would say that something like if this is x, this is y. Then at least what I know is based on this information, I know basically x multiple y will equal to 72. Because the question is saying the area of the pool, including the adjacent land, including the outside here, will be 72. Means the total area here will be 72. Alright, but the find what but at, at the end the question actually want to find the length of the pool. That's mean the question want you, you to find the L. The question want to find what is the value for L. So I will need to form some equation from here. Of course, I already formed the first one, which is x multiple y equals 72. Then I will need to substitute something. So based on my understanding, I will do something like this. Okay. Since x multiple y equals to 72, I know my x, do you see this x here? Actually, is W plus 1 meter and plus another 1 meter here. So the whole x here, I would say is equals to, is equals to w plus 2. Do you see? If this is w, because the width here is 1 meter, the width here is 1 meter, so it will be plus 2 meter. This is x, right? Okay, for w, uh, for y, okay, if my length is 6 plus w, this is 6 plus W. I will need to plus 1 meter width here and definitely plus another 1 meter width here. So I would say 
1 and 1 plus 6 is 8 plus W. Okay, this is my Y. So, that's, therefore, I will substitute into the equation. If X multiple Y is equal to 72, my X actually equals to W plus 2. And my Y will actually equals to, uh, I can say 8 plus W. Yeah, my Y is equals to 8 plus W will equals to 72. Then I will just need to solve this equation to find the values of W. So I will cross over multiple. So like W multiple 8 is just 8W. W multiple W is W square. 2 multiple 8 will actually 16. And 2 multiple W is 2W equals to 72. And I will rearrange the whole equation become W square plus 10W and 16, I move the 72 to the other side, it will be become minus 72. 16 minus 72 is negative 56 equals to 0. So after I, I, I form this, this one we call it quadratic equation. So if this, is quad, if this is quadratic equation, so what I understand is I can actually factorize it. So I will factorize it. This one will become W, W, and I will take 14 and 4 maybe. Yep. Then this one will be positive, this one will be negative because 14 multiples 4 is 56. Okay, if I cross over multiple like this, you can see this is 14 W and this is negative 4 W. If these two you plus together, you actually will get 10 W. 14 W minus 4 W is 10 W, right? So this is how I solve the quadratic like this. Yeah. So and then I will have two values for my W. W plus 14 will equal to 0. Or W minus 4 will equal to 0. Then my value of W will be 4 meter. And my value of W will be negative 14 meter. However, I will reject the negative 14. I mean, I will reject this answer because of what? This is length. You know W is a length. Length impossible, you will get negative. So I will re reject the negative value. So I will only take this positive value. Okay? So, yeah, this is the this is the values of width. But this is not the final answer. Yeah, if you read the uh, question carefully, the question actually asks you to find the length. The question wants to find what is the values of L not W. If you start at W, you, you might be minus 1 or 2 mark. So you must be very careful when you read the question. So I I know in order to find the length of, of the pool, so what I need to do is 6 plus uh, the answer of W. So I will say at the end, I will say, is, yeah, therefore the length of the pool will be 6 plus W. My W is 4. Will be 10 meter. Then, then you are done. Right, so this question is not really hard, but then you have to understand a lot of keywords, like what is the meaning for adjacent land. Adjacent land means basically all the land outside of the pool. I, I mean around the pool. This one called, so here is actually called adjacent. La adjacent land okay so you have to understand all this information and then you also need to understand the length and width and the confusing part is a 72 72 is not the swim uh, not the pool itself it's actually including the land 72 so that's why I would say x multiple y you actually will get 72 all right and the question says the width is one meter so but then you have to understand the one meter is around the pool so if you only do one meter from here and here and and these two part you you're missing it then you got the question wrong also so you have to understand the question uh. but if you understand you will find this question actually is very simple right anyways i hope you can learn something from this video and i hope you can really understand it anyways thanks for watching